Hi, this is Kent from Northwest Oregon in Spokane. The purpose of this video today is to talk a little bit how do you get the most sound out of a small organ. We hear oftentimes organists that have small organs that they can't get anything out of it or it's boring to play. Today we're going to use as a demo instrument this Allen ADC 420 which is going to be leaving us next week to its new home in Cheney, Washington. If this were a pipe organ, it would be equivalent to 17 ranks of pipes, although you see 27 stops on the stop rail. The principle used in pipe organ building for years to either cut down costs or oftentimes to save on space would be to duplex stops, which means the same stop would be available in the swell and the grate. Most organs, regardless of size, have eights and fours and generally twos. A little bit larger organs will have reeds and strings. This organ does have all of those. So in this particular case, we're going to talk a little bit about solo stops used in postlude music, prelude music, communion music, offertory music. Um, this is oftentimes where organists feel a little bit uh, stymied on how to get a little more sound out of their instrument. So in this particular case, I'm going to demonstrate some of the most commonly used stops for a solo instrument with the strings on the swell. First of all, the eight foot principle quite commonly used, up in its normal range. Eight foot gedeck in its normal range. Four foot flute in its normal range. The trumpet. Or the crumb horn. So I've showed, showed you five solo stops that you could use. However, by moving those stops, playing them either up an octave or down an octave, you double or even triple the number of combinations you can use. In this particular case, the principal down an octave or the crumb horn in its normal range. But if you take the crumb horn and drop it down an octave, it takes on a whole different timber about it. four foot copper flute by itself. Or take the same flute and drop it down an octave. In this particular case, notice that the four foot copper flute down an octave has a totally different sound than the 8-foot cadet in its normal range. So oftentimes with, with organs, even in larger organs, the nuances between each stop sometimes are very subtle, but nevertheless can be very effective. The next demonstration I'm going to play a piece where I'm going to use a couple of stops on the swell, this is a piece in Baroque style. We use the eight and two and two thirds. And that in this particular case is what the composer is calling for. However, if I just add the four foot flute to that and instead of using the viola on the grate, I'm going to use the principal. And 
another good example of moving uh, stops up or down is with the bassoon. The bassoon at 16 down in the normal range will sound rather throaty and probably wouldn't sound down there as well as it does up an octave. So if I play the same piece in normal range on the 16 foot, However, if I move that bassoon up an octave, now it takes on a whole different character. And let's say we'll add the fourth foot flute in the grate. One of my favorite combinations to use, being the romantic that I am, is to take the Celeste, the eight foot flute, and on the swell and, and bring it down an octave. Very beautiful down in that tenor range. So with that idea in mind, as you sit down to the instrument, even though you may have a fairly small stop rail, take the time to experiment, fine tune your ear to what really creates a beautiful flowing melody. The same thing holds true with post lead music where you use very festive reeds. In this particular case, uh, the trumpet on the, or the trumpet on the swell uh, doesn't quite have enough to carry the melody. However, if I reverse the melody and put the trumpet and the crumb horn, the eight foot principle together, along with some swell stops and everything, notice the presence of the melody much more being now being played on the grade. So not only moving stops up and down will you get a lot of right and everything, you may need to move your melody between the swell and the grate. But by doing that, even with a smaller organ with the duplex stops, you still can come up with a lot of really, really creative, uh, good ideas. Some of the nuances may be quite subtle, some of them may be more dramatic. But it is possible to get more out of the organ than you think, think you can. And with that idea in mind, Thanks for watching this video today. If you're in Spokane ever, stop by our store and say hello and we'll answer any questions you have. And we'll see you next time.